Hi, this is Olajide from CTF Security. In today's video, we will be discussing a topic that has been a cause of concern for many people, which is email spoofing. Email spoofing is a technique that is used to deceive people by making them think that an email is coming from a legitimate source, when in reality it is not. In this video, we will be exploring how email spoofing works, the tools and techniques used to carry out email spoofing, and providing valuable practical answers on spoofing email addresses. If you are interested in learning about how to protect yourself against email spoofing and other similar attacks, I invite you to check out the link in the description box below for my email analysis video. There you will find practical tips and strategies that can help dictate and safeguard your online presence. So without further ado, let's get started. A very quick disclaimer, please note that the techniques demonstrated in this video are for educational purpose only. I do not encourage or condone any illegal activities including spoofing of email addresses. It is important to use the information responsibly and only on system and network that you are authorized to test. Any action taken based on the information in this video are solely your responsibility. The sole objective of email spoofing is to deceive the recipient into believing that the email is from a trusted source, when it is actually from a malicious actor. This can be achieved by manipulating the email sender address, which makes it appear as if it is originated from a different email address than the one actually used to send it. There are several measures that we can put in place to help prevent email spoofing, such as the sender policy framework, the DKIM and the DMARC. In order to view these three authentication settings, what we need to do is to go to our email and go to the menu right here and click on show original. Now we get all the information relating to this email address, such as the message ID, the date created, the from, the to, the subject, the SPF, the DKIM, and the DMARC. The SPF, which means Sender Policy Framework, is an email validation system that allows domain owner to specify which mail servers are authorized to send email on behalf of the domain, while the DKIM is an email authentication method that uses digital signature to verify that an email uh, was sent by the domain owner and has not been altered during transit. And we also have the DMARC. The DMARC allows domain owners to specify how their email should be handled if they fail SPF or DMARC check, such as being rejected or marked as spam. So for our email spoofing practical demonstration in this video, we're going to be using jumia.com.ng as our target domain. Jumia.com.ng is one of the leading e-commerce websites in Africa. And uh, if you take a look at their domain, uh, you can see it right here, www.jumia.com.ng. But before we start to spoof Jumia email addresses, we need to first of all check if this domain is vulnerable to spoofing attack. And in order to do that, we need to use a Python tool called the spoof check. I'm going to drop the link in the description box below. So what you need to do is to clone this repository into your system and then you can install the program from your terminal so to get started i'll just add to my terminal and let's go into our dedicated directory for this video so i'm going to navigate into youtube and on the youtube i have jumia so i'm just going to change directory to jumia so i'm gonna clear this and let's see what we have. So we have a directory called spoof check. So let's see it into spoof check and ls. Okay, good. So after cloning the repository, this is likely what you are going to be getting: the spoof check, the requirements, the README, and all that files relating to this spoof check but this email html.txt uh, is a file i've created for our email formatting using 
and HTML. So I'm just going to get back to this later. And um, what we need to do now is to run our program. So I'm just going to use the dot slash spoof check. I'm going to specify jumia.com dot ng and i can execute the program so we wait for the program to tell us if jumia.com dot ng is vulnerable to spoofing attack or not so we get a message right here telling us spoofing possible for jumia.com dot ng and um, along with that we have our dmark record and other uh things like uh, okay we have our dmark record and uh, we also have our SPF record and other information right here. So now we know that jumia.com.ng is vulnerable to spoofing attack. And now we can begin crafting our spoofing email. So it's now time to show you the HTML formatted email we are going to be sending to our victim. So if we ls and uh, I can use the mouse pad to open the email HTML dot txt and let's see what we have all right good so this is all the email that is being formatted using the html so i'm just going to copy this and we can view the output of this email using um code pen so i'm just going to open a new tab and let's see code pen so open the link start coding so i want us to have overview on how the email will look like when it gets to the receiver so i'm just going to paste our code right here paste okay good all right so we can have our preview can i move this up all right great so we can have preview of how our email is going to look like um so we have an email talking about jumia free delivery and uh with just some random text in there and uh with just uh an iPad link pointing to example.com uh we have another one read more and others and we have our footers here showing or indicating lagos nigeria 2023 um so now that we've seen the output i'm just going to close this tab i can close leave the page so the next thing we need is an smtp server which we are going to use to authenticate during spoofing and uh, in order to get our smtp server we're going to create an account with send in blue and you can see the description of sending blue so sending blue is the smartest and the most intuitive platform for growing businesses thrive digitally as we guide your business with the right marketing and sales tools so we're going to create an account and you can just click on test drive so after doing that it's going to ask you to either sign in with your microsoft or your google account which you're going to do you can also supply a phone number for authentication after creating an account what you need to do is to log in after you are logged in you have an environment like this and uh, the next thing is to go to your profile information and from the profile information select the smtp and api so this is going to give you all your credential relating to your smtp and api so we're interested in the smtp and um, for example you can see our port number our smtp server our login and most importantly our master password so these are the credentials we're going to use to authenticate during our spoofing so i'm just going to copy this information out so let's head to our terminal from the terminal we can clear what we have here and uh, the tool we're going to be using for the spoofing is called send email so uh, you can see let's see if we can get the help all right so we have a lot of options you can run along with the send email command and um, I'm just going to be saying very few of them for example you can specify the tag F to um, assign an email addresses for the sender you can also use the tag T 
for email addresses of the recipient you can use the tag x for the smtp server you can use the dash xu for username xp for password u to specify the message subject we can also have the tag a which specify file attachment so what i need to do is to scroll down and um, i can clear this so we're going to use the send email then we're going to use the tag f which specify the email address of the sender um in this case we're going to be using sunday kind so we're going to be specifying the email address um the target is going to be seen which is um sunday kind at jumia.com.ng so the next thing we're going to specify sorry about that close this is we're going to specify the tag t which specify uh the email address of the recipient so our recipient is going to be my test email which is ctfsec 001 at gmail.com so we're also going to specify the tag u which is the subject so i'm just going to enter jumia easter update so I'll close the code so the next thing we're going to specify is our message and um, our message is going to be carrying um a bash so let's say um okay so we're going to be outputting um the email the html sorry about that html.txt so i'm just going to close this and uh, we specify the s which is the server so in order to get our server what we need to do is to head to our send in blue and i'll copy my server information so paste it right here so the next information we need is the xu which specify the username and my username on the send in blue is going to be my login information so i'm just going to copy this and uh, we paste this on the terminal the next information we're going to supply is the dash xp which is the password so I'll head again to the send in blue and um, I will select my master password. So I'm going to copy this and paste. So we have all um, our valuable information in. So again, I'll run through it. So we have our fake email address, which is going to be Tunde Kainde. Um, okay, I think there's E. It's supposed to be here. So, Tunde Kainde at jumia.com.ng and the name is going to be Tunde Kainde. We also have the dash T, which is going to be our target email address we also have the tag u which is the subject of our email we have the dash m which specifies the um the message itself and we have our message uh inside the email html.txt which i've showed you earlier we also specify the tag s which is the uh smtp server which we have gotten from our send in blue and we have our xu which is the user and the xp which is the password so i'm just going to execute this command okay we have an issue and it says no address associated 
uh, with the SMTP. So I'm just going to check that again. Okay, I didn't specify the port number, so I need to go back. and specify the port number and from the sending blue you can see our port number is 587 so i'm just going to add port 587 and uh, now we can execute okay we have a connection attempt to all right probably i need to log in so i'll go head back to sending blue i'll just refresh this page All right, so just head to the terminal once more and I can execute. All right, so we have email was sent successfully. So what we need to do now is to check our email. So go to the inbox. And we can head to more, we get to all mail. And we have our email from Tunde Kainde. And if you open the Tunde Kainde email, you see uh, Tunde Kainde, then we have uh, Tunde Kainde at jumia.com.ng. And you scroll down and you can see there's no indication uh, specifying that this email is not coming from Tunde Kainde. And if you go to the menu and you click on show original, this gives us information about the email. And if you come to the DMARC record, you can see that this specific email has filled the DMARC check. So this is one indication that this email was spoofed. And uh, if you go to the from section here, you can also see at the medium we sent the mail, which is the same email. In conclusion, email spoofing is a serious threat that can have devastating consequences for individuals and organizations. It can be used to deceive recipients into divulging sensitive information, deliver malware, or execute phishing attack. However, there are several measures that can be put in place to help prevent email spoofing, such as SPF, DMARC, DKIM, email filters, and user education. I hope this video has been informative and helpful in raising awareness about email spoofing. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.